Mojo Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are looking at the Cobra Crimson Viper. Uh, I'm not doing any comparisons today because I've already reviewed plenty of Vipers here on the channel. Uh, got a Sky Striker in the background, uh, just cool, looks cool. Extensive Enterprises facility there, if you notice. And I, I'm liking these Crimson troops it's working for me i like teams i like coordination so this is a cool gimmick in my opinion i like it uh and i am hoping very much well a lot of rattling around in there uh that last week's quality issues oh man what is already there's a problem what's that His, whoop. there it is. Uh, his grenades are already off. Wow, we are not off to a good start, are we? Uh, so if you know, we'll set those to the side for now. Last week there were some, in my opinion, severe quality slash production issues with Firefly and Low Light. Uh, the matter of fact, Firefly is still standing right here. He's thawing out. I attempted, I wanted to try and take him apart to fix the gap in his waist, and there's just no, there's not a solution. Or if there is, I can't find it. If you know, let me know. Uh, I ordered another one from Amazon, who does not actually have them in stock yet, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, so anyway, yeah, already right out of the box, uh, grenades just falling off the, the vest. So things are not looking too great for this wave overall. I'm not saying it's a complete loss, but I cannot claim that I am happy with what we've seen so far. And this one, uh, you know, I was ready to be pretty excited about this guy. Another, like I said, another crimson, which I'm, I'm fine with, uh, but immediately... We get parts falling off that are not supposed to be removable, so you can you can guess how we all feel about that, right? Let's get these annoying plastic tabs out of the way. I hate these too. Uh, I bring the twine back. These are these are no, they're not awful, but I don't like them. I don't prefer them. Uh, okay, so the color of crimson is great. Oh, that's what I wasn't gonna have anything to compare him to but I need to compare him to the other Crimson releases. I knew there'd be something. Okay, I just grabbed a Crimson Bat because it, would, it was the easiest thing to get to. Uh, and they're certainly... They're not identical reds. I never know how well... I'm looking at my screen right now, obviously, but I never know how well this really translates to video. Uh, close enough. For sure, close enough. They're, they're very slightly different. And the helmets look... Uh, they're... They're different. But I think it's also to do with the quality of the plastic. Because um, there's more of a gloss on the bat in places... So the bat's two different colors of red, of, of crimson, of red, whatever. I don't know, standing on the shelf together, I think they'll be fine, but they, they're not quite, they're not uh, Mattel Sinestro core bad, but they don't quite match. And look, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm probably being a little extra picky after the disappointment of the last two figures. That's just what happens, you know? It's it's a it's a slippery slope. Once you've accepted that something is not living up to your expectations, then you almost start to look harder uh, for issues. Uh, figure feels pretty good. The knee is probably the easiest to move out of anything I've opened lately, so that's nice. Uh... Yeah, everything feels pretty solid and good. I like it. I like the look of the red. Originally, when they first showed these, uh, I kind of wanted the vests to be blue. 
And while I do think that would look cooler, it wouldn't be appropriate for a Crimson Viper. You know what I mean? Like if this was a blue vest, like a dark blue, or even a light blue. But, but whatever the case, it wouldn't have been appropriate. It would look better, but it wouldn't be right for this release. Okay, so everything feels good on the figure. Uh, the colors are, you know, independent of matching up with the other Crimson Troops. Everything looks good color-wise, the grays and the darker grays, because it's not really black. It's like a dark, dark gray. Well done. Well executed. I like it. I'm going to be happy to put it on the shelf, and if prices drop, I'll buy a second one. Uh, and if they don't, this will just be a singular Viper that was recruited to work for extensive enterprises. So yeah, looks good. Let's see accessory-wise what we've got here. I mean, I don't think there are going to be any surprises, but that's okay. Not every review has to be 20 minutes long. Matter of fact, I'm sure many of you would prefer it if most of them weren't 20 minutes long. Okay. Alright, got everything out of the bag. I really do like the color of gray they've gone with on this. Uh, the gray weapons don't bother me, but if I had my preference, they'd just be black. Uh, but they're, I mean, it's fine, but... Oh, wait, let's see if I can get... I'm not going to return it over this because I can certainly... Oh, gosh, look at that, though. Like, they don't even... No, they go the other way. Um, they don't even, like, stick into place. The glue is just entirely absent from this... How'd that even happen? But, yeah, I'm not doing a return over that. I can glue it on, and it's fine. It's dumb, because you can see there is there is no trace of glue whatsoever in there. Uh, so yeah, whatever. Isn't it interesting, this is blue painted black. So this probably was in the same tool as this, and then they painted this black. Weird. Uh, okay, uh, he's got his little neckerchief that I personally don't care for and I'm going to leave off. Uh, the backpack looks great. The paint. I, I like that we're getting more paint on the accessories. Um, I mean, the other Vipers, I believe, had paint on their backpacks, but I just, if this was just an all gray backpack, it would be very disappointing. You've got the straps are painted, the rope. It looks good. Let's see if it fits well. Oh, yeah. Look. Plugs in there really nicely. Uh, you've got the, what I just think of as the Viper Rifle, which is a cool looking piece. I dig it. I would like to see the original Viper Rifle, but, uh, you know, until then, this I like this thing. I think it's cool. So, we're going to put the pistol in the holster. We'll get the goggles on the head first. Uh, the goggles are, I believe, a little more rubbery than the first Viper goggles. Got the nice silver paint on the lenses. I like that. And we'll just get those situated where they go. Kind of pull it down just under. The, I mean, this is how I've done mine. I don't know how you've done yours, but just under this little piece right here keeps them, seems to keep them in place pretty well. And you've got your Viper look, and it's great. And then finally, we'll get the uh, that deal in the hand. And look at that. Cool. I like it. It's great. If uh, aside from aside from that, it's great. Uh, if they, like I said, if prices go down, I'll get one more and just have a couple to go with my Crimson Troops. I don't need a bunch. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy I got this one. I wasn't positive I needed it, but now that I've got it, it's cool. It's going to look cool with the rest of the Crimson Troops, and there you go. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things, and until next time, Cobra. Smash that like button if you like needless things.